Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, this is Making It Happen with Mary and I am Mary. What are we doing today, ladies and gentlemen? You know what we're doing? You know what we're doing? We are going to talk about Dahlia. Yes, Dahlia has been re-released from Bath and Body Works and uh, we're going to talk about her today, do a little bit of comparisons, but definitely want to compare her to the OG, triple OG, original from Bath and Body Works, original Dahlia. I will say right off rip, uh, the packaging on the OG is by far prettier than this hot mess here. The packaging on this version of Dahlia is just abysmal in my opinion. But uh, let's talk about, let's just get into it. Scent notes on Dahlia are velvet Dahlia petals, crisp pear, praline musk, and whipped tonka bean. They are exactly identical the same on here. This year's version, well, you know, let me, let me, let me start with the OG. I love her. I absolutely adore her. She is very sexy, mature, grown-ass woman. Yes, you definitely get the tonka and the praline musk in this scent. I am a huge fan of praline. I love it in scents, especially in the fall and the winter time. I don't pick up a lot of pear in here, though, which is... I wish they would have made the pear just the tiniest bit stronger. But you definitely get the dahlia petals. They're right up front, right there in the beginning. But you're left with this beautiful tonka and praline creaminess that is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous, yo. Like I said, it definitely is a very mature, sexy, grown-ass woman scent, and I love that. Now, that's the OG, right? Let's see what the, now, let me, wait, let me back up one second. The OG, not only is she beautiful, she was a beast. She would last for hours, project really well. I always got mad compliments every time I wear her. This year's version, let's talk about it. There is something different with this version versus that OG version. And I think what it is, the praline creaminess that I get in the OG is not as heavy and prevalent in this new version. And that really sucks because that is what made this scent so freaking gorgeous. I'm really, you know, I'm just gonna say something. I detest when Bath & Body Works brings back scents that we want them to bring back so badly, but when they do, they water them down or they alter them to some extent, and it's bullshit. I don't like it. Like, give us what we ask for. I get that things are rising in cost. I understand that. And somebody did point out to me in one of my videos, they commented, hey, you know, the prices of oils are going up, blah, 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 blah. That's fine and dandy, but they are also charging us more. So if they're cutting costs to make these fragrances and they're not even as good as the OG, why are they charging us more? I'm just going to say, why are they charging us more? If they're already cutting costs, why are they charging us more? I don't like that. The OG version, the OG version of Dahlia was $15.50. $15.50 for the body mist. And this came out in 2000. It was out and it was released in the fall of 2020. I keep saying 2000 every time I see the zero instead of 2020, but please believe it is 2020. This year's version, 1895. 1895. So you're telling me the OG, which was freaking fracking amazing three years ago, three years ago now, right? 1550? And you've not only gone up $3, but $3 and some change, almost $3.50. $3.50 higher in price, but not near, it's still not as good as the original. Make it make sense, y'all. Make it make sense. Jesus, take the wheel, because I'm about to lose it today. I'm telling you, it just irritates me. I'm not going to go off on a tangent too much longer here, but I am irritated by that whole debacle. Now, yes, is she pretty still? She's still pretty, but it's not the same as the original. It's close. It's close. But that praline creaminess is nowhere near as strong as it is in the OG. 
Yes, there's a definite difference in depth with that OG versus this one. And I got to be honest, I can lie all day long. Bath and Body Works would probably love for me to lie all day long, but I ain't doing it. There is a definite difference. Yeah, 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 yeah. The OG uh, is still the OG in my opinion. I'm going to savor her. I probably will use this with the actual new, with the original body cream that I have. Uh, and I also have a body lotion in it, so I'll probably save the lotion because they don't go bad as fast to still use with this. But this, it's pretty. Again, it's pretty, but there is a difference to me. One thing I will say, she does last still. Because I did put this on, I wore this last night, and it does still last. I could still smell it very strongly hours later. So that is one good thing I will say about this. I, I think the only way you're going to achieve the same depth that you would get in this is maybe overspray. Other than that, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. But let's get into the comparisons. Let's do that, shall we? Before I totally lose my shit today. <laughs> All right. One of the ones I saw them comparing this to was Alien Essence Absolute. Okay. Terry Mugler's Alien Essence Absolute. I don't have the actual one from Terry Mugler. I do have Juliana's Perfume. If you have not checked them out, please do so. I have many of their scents and I adore them. But this one is called Scarlet Letter. And it is their version of Alien Essence Absolute. I always print out a thing and put them on the back, especially if I tend to forget sometimes. And I, with my collection, y'all, I do forget some things sometimes. So just, you know, bear with me. But yes, it is Scarlet Letter. Scent notes on Alien Essence Absolute are Jasmine, Cashmere Wood, Oris Root, Vanilla Pod, White Amber, Myrrh, and Incense. Now, just hearing the notes, you're kind of like, how, how would this even equate? And baby, I'd have to agree with you. But yes, I did see it out there. There is an influencer on YouTube. She's not a big influencer, but I saw it. And she was comparing Dahlia to an Alien Essence Absolute. Totally different in my opinion. Totally different. Uh, Alien Essence Absolute, you definitely get that incense note. You get the jasmine. Jasmine comes through heavy on this. The amber, the myrrh. I don't really get a lot of vanilla from here. And the, the cashmere. The cashmere, the jasmine, and the white amber is predominant. But in the background is definitely that incense note, which is very, very different from Dahlia. Baby, I, I don't know if you watch my channel at all, the girl who did this, but I am almost like willing to start a fund for your nose to check and see if it's busted, girl. <laughs> and I say a lot of this stuff with love and just like lighthearted jokingness. I would never throw another influencer under the bus. I sure as hell would never name them specifically. Um, everybody's nose at the end of the day is different. I think it's just comical. To me, some of the comparisons that I see. So I just wanna I, I just wanna say that. Yeah, honey, they're not even they're not even the same ballpark. Nope, 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 nope. Another one, y'all. Tell me if you saw this. I saw a review. And I, I was like, they were comparing it to chasing fireflies. They said that they were very close, that they were siblings, and I was just kind of like. Scent notes are Golden Pear, Jasmine Blooms, Illuminated Woods. Again, with the Jasmine. Dahlia does not have Jasmine. It has Dahlia Petals. It does have Pear. I will say there's Golden Pear in here. There's Pear in here. Praline Musk and Tonka, Woody Notes with Jasmine. No. 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 The, Dahlia, even though it's not as distinct as the OG version, Dahlia still has a creamy praline note in it. Praline Tonka. Chasing Fireflies has this powdery vibe to it that a lot of people didn't vibe with. I did. I love Chasing Fireflies. And the pear is more evident in Chasing Fireflies. It definitely is detectable, at least to my nose, as well as the jasmine. 
that illuminated woods, which is this woody notes, I'm going to assume. They do all come together with this powdery note, which again, did not go over well with a lot of people. I loved it personally. Um, but to compare Chasing Fireflies to Dahlia, and then to say that they were like siblings, I think the not, I think the not. Nope, 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 nope. Totally different. I did do an in-depth review and comparison on Chasing Fireflies. If you go back through my videos, it is in there. It was a couple months ago, so go look for that if you missed it. The last comparison I want to do, y'all, is my, I'm going to stand by this to the end of time. My theory is that Dahlia is an identical dupe, a body spray dupe to Caroline Herrera's Good girl. Yes, yes, yes. I do have the OG. She's up here. The high heel part broke on her and I got to fix it. But I also, because I love that scent, do have the dossier version. And just in case you think I'm bullshitting you, hold on. Because I, I had a comment a while back from somebody out there. I don't even know if this person is a subscriber. I don't know. But uh, they made a comment on one of my videos saying, well, how do we know you really have these perfumes? Bye bye. Bye bye. What is that? What is that? What is that? She's a little dusty right now, but what is that? What is that? What is that? Caroline Herrera. See, look. Uh, yeah, the entire high heel part came off. I'm going to have to, I think, glue it down. I'm going to have to glue this part down, like with some super glue. But yes, that is Caroline Herrera's good girl. So, yes, I do have it, in case, since you were wondering so very much. Yes, yes, yes. So anyway, before, mm, I'm telling you, I'm in a mood today, y'all. Caroline Herrera's good girl. Uh, Dossier does call it fruity almond. Scent notes are almond, peach, orris, orange blossom, tuberose, tonka bean, vanilla, and cocoa. And I will say one thing about Dossier perfumes not only are they spot on, they last longer than the originals. I hate to say that, considering how much they are in comparison. But Dossier is banging, yo. And yes, you can never convince me otherwise that this is not a body spray dupe of Caroline Herrera. Yeah, yeah, without a doubt. In fact, let's just spray a little on. Yeah, without a doubt, yo, they are identical. Um, I really cannot detect much difference. They smell like identical. The only thing I will say is I think Dahlia has just a tiny bit more creaminess about her than the original Caroline Herrera Good Girl. There's a creamy factor. Even in this one, there is a creamy factor that I don't get as much as in here. So instead of saying identical, Mary, back it up. Back it up, baby. We'll say 98% the same. I'm good with that. I'm good with that. But yeah, you guys, that is my thoughts, my review and comparison on the new version of Dahlia. What did you think? What did you think of her? If you have that OG version and you smelled the new one, tell me what you think. I really want to know in your com with the comments down below. Let me know because is your girl sniffer busted or did I am I am I correct on saying what I said? So other than that, y'all, you know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, and ding the bell so you alert every single time I upload. And other than that, y'all, I will catch you in the next one. All right, you guys. Bye bye.